Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching after the live is over, welcome to my replay. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations. And I'm also an independent designer with Chop Couture. Um, tonight we're going to be doing a project with our Couture ink. Um, and I'm going to be using our reusable transfers. And I'm going to be inking on some lemon pot holders. And then these really cute um, gray and white buffalo check towels. So you can create custom towels, custom t-shirts, custom pot holders, um, anything fabric based with the Couture ink. So it's really a lot of fun. Once you come on, um, on the live or the replay, just comment hi and um, tell me where you're watching from. I'm using a an online platform called StreamYard. It does not tell me who is in the live. Um, so the only way I know that you're here is if you comment hi in the comments. So I would really appreciate you doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. These are the Chocotour reusable silk screen transfers. They do have a sticky back. So they are sticky on the back side. And anywhere um, you, anywhere that you see the white, there's actually a silk screen material inside, so it keeps all of the inside letters together, all of the punctuation together, there's no weeding, there's no losing pieces, um, it's all intact. And you can, these are reusable about 8 to 12 times depending on um, how well you take care of them. I did use this one last night, so it has already been written on, uh, but this is the Love Loves Here transfer. It is a size C 12 by 18 transfer. And all of these are available on my website except the last one. This one is called the Sassy Kitchen Signs. So it says chop it like it's hot. What the fork. It's getting hot in here. Baker's going to bake. Just eat it. Life is short like the bowl. And because it is, again, reusable, I want to make sure that I write... I, you can write either back. Um, I just like to write the name of the transfer on the back, um, especially since all three of these are the same size. I know which backer sheet goes to which transfer, and this way I know what side of the backer sheet um, uh, gets put back on the transfer. Hey, Jason. Um, and then this one um, I'm sorry to say it's not available. It's last year's transfer, but I thought it would be perfect for these um, lemon pot holders. It says live life with zest, pucker up and take the wedge off. And it's live life, live life with zest. And I'm just going to go ahead and write on the back. I can spell live life with zest. Um, I may not get through all of these tonight, but um, I'll give it a whirl. I do have five towels and I have three pot holders. And um, to make eat projects a little easier, Chalk Couture has two different chalk or ink mats. This one happens to be the 11 by 23. And I've actually cut it in half so that it's, or semi-half, so that it's two pieces. And then there's also a, an, a 17 by 17 for like pillow covers, larger um, uh, projects like t-shirts. And what it does is it, it has a slight adhesive to it. So it keeps your textiles in place so that it doesn't move around. And if you're a lazy person like me, you can stick it down and it kind of like, it removes all of the wrinkles. So it just sticks down. But the best thing is, is it keeps your fabric in place so it doesn't move. So I'm going to use, um, not that one. I'm going to use the Sassy Kitchen Signs. And these are available on my website. I do have a shopping cart link in the description of the videos, either on YouTube and Facebook. It says shop the supplies here. Um, it puts everything into the 
into your cart that I'm using tonight, except the black ink. It is out of stock right now, but it should be back in stock um, soon. But you can add or delete anything to that cart. So you'll notice that this uh, transfer has white lines on it. These are the cut lines. Um, you're welcome to just cut through uh, the transfer and the backer sheet together, but I like to keep my backer sheet intact. So I'm just going to take my scissors or my transfer trimmers and I'm just going to score along that line. And it cuts the transfer apart, but it keeps my backer sheet together. So I don't have six different pieces of transfer and, and backer sheet laying all over the place. So again, I'm just going to lift up an edge. And I'm just going to run my scissors right underneath it along that line. Did everyone have a great Tuesday? I don't know about you, but I always seem to have a Monday hangover on Tuesday. I always, people always say Mondays are bad, but Tuesdays aren't a lot of fun either. Um, so hopefully you've had a great Tuesday. Mine hasn't been bad. So I haven't ever used this transfer, um, and I like to use I like to use ink projects on a brand new transfer because it's super sticky and it's gonna get you're gonna get a really good stick. Um, so I'm just gonna peel this off of my backer sheet, and then I'm just gonna place it on my towel. And the great thing about this check is that it, it gives me kind of a reference as to how to line up my transfer. So I'm just going to stick it down really good, make sure there aren't any air bubbles. And I'm going to wad the rest of this up. so. Kind of covered up. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to cheat and put my a towel down. That way, if my squeegee happens to drop, it won't drop on the rest of my towel. So the couture ink is different than the paste. It the ink is permanent when heat set with either an iron or a heat press, um, whereas the paste is semi permanent, but it is water soluble, so it will come off with water unless you seal it with like a clear sealer, but this ink is, you're able to heat set it. So I just dip my um, squeegee in the ink and I've already gotten it all over me. So I'm just gonna take my squeegee and I'm just gonna run it over my soap screen. And very little pressure because I don't want to squeeze the ink underneath the, the transfer out the sides. I'm just going to kind of like I'm frosting a cake or buttering a piece of toast. And then I can just take off the excess. And put it right back in my jar. Okay, so when, but right before I remove this transfer, because ink does become permanent, I want to make sure it's all off of my fingers. And I usually double check and triple check. And then I'm just going to peel the transfer up slowly. And there you go. Um, I'm going to get my little, I'm going to use my heat tool this evening. Try to get that dry a little bit just before I just want to dry it a little bit before I move it I'm 
Once again, once you come in, say hi and tell me where you're watching from. Careful not to melt my ink mat. I might switch to my blow dryer real quick. I just don't want to melt my ink mat. So I'm going to switch to my blow dryer so I can get a little more drying action going. Towels make great gifts uh, for co-workers, neighbors, and the secret sisters at work. And the, you know, I think I found these at Hobby Lobby last year when the spring shop was on sale. I know Walmart has nice fish towels. You can even use the flower sack towels, although I find that they're a little thinner. But sometimes your ink will run just a little bit. at least dry enough that I can move it. So I'm just going to take it off the ink mat and it might bleed through the back some. See it did on that one. Um, I think we'll be okay. So then we'll just grab our next one. Actually let's do a pot holder next. Um, I think it'd be cute on this quilted but I'm afraid of the texture. So I'm just going to, we'll just use the front side and we'll do this live life with zest. Let's just see how it will hang. The hanger is slightly crooked with the print, but we'll go with the hanger. Make sure it's good and down. And then I'm just going to cover the rest of it with my towel. I'd rather get my towel dirty than. And so I'm just going to wipe it on with a little bit of pressure. This is kind of a padded surface so it there's a lot of movement in it so i'm not gonna press very hard because i don't want to break the seal of my transfer on my fabric i'm gonna be kind of gentle See a part of the E that okay. Put my excess back in. Check my fingers. And then just peel up my transfer slowly. There's the live life with zest. So I'm gonna grab my hair dryer and dry that a little bit so that I can move it off to the side.
Hey, Amanda. Hey, Thea. Hey, Oliver. How are you all doing? Sure that's not dry but so there's that live life with zest so we we'll put that to the side so then we'll bring in another towel and again I'm putting it on the oh no worries that you're late Amanda I know I'm trying to figure out what a good time is for me and I haven't quite nailed down a schedule yet, but I'm working on it. If you have a fave time, let me know what that is. So I'm just putting it down to on the ink mat again so that my fabric doesn't move around. Um, and it also helps like if you're using a t inking a t-shirt, the ink mat acts as a barrier so that your ink doesn't go to the other side. So I will pull up our, our sassy signs again. Um, we used the Baker's Gonna Bake uh, transfer on this one. This is the C size. A sassy kitchen sign so it says chop it like it's hot what the fork it's getting hot in here just eat it and life is short lick the bowl I think we'll do life is short lick the bowl next and again I'm just gonna use my um, my checker checks as a kind of a, a gauge as to where I want this as far as placement although it's not very even this looks good let's put it right there so I'm going to make sure it's stuck down really well That looks crooked. So I'm just laying it down, making sure there are as few air bubbles as possible. And then I'm using my black ink. And I'm just going to dip my squeegee in my ink. And then I'm going to gently with just a little bit of pressure, not much, spread that ink over the mesh, silk screen area. And I just have my fuzz towel here in case I happen to drop my squeegee. I'm just trying to protect the top of my uh, towel, my decorative towel. I wanted to let you know there's going to be a family fun festival at the 4-H building this weekend in Salina. Uh, there'll be bouncy houses, there'll be some concessions, there'll be vendors. Um, sounds like it's going to be a really good time. It'll be from 10 to 3 at the 4-H building. And I'll be there with some of my crafty stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe the excess off. 
and I'm going to check my fingers to make sure that they don't have ink on them. And then I'm just going to pull the transfer up slowly. There you go. Life is short, lick the bowl. So I'm going to blow dry it. Amanda says Oliver wants you to know that he loves it. Which is your favorite so far, Oliver? Do you like the lemon pot holder or do you like one of these towels? He loves, he like, Oliver likes the life is short, lick the bowl. Let's see, so we'll just take this off of the ink mat. And again, it does, the paste does, or the ink can go through the back. So we'll just kind of, I'm just trying to lay these gently over here. So then I think I'll do another pot holder. I think I'll try it without the ink mat this time. I don't know if it was the ink that got went through the back or if there's something on my... Oh, I know what it is. It's my ink mat. It's yucky. Oops. So we'll do... We'll do the pucker up next. So this one says pucker up. Just making sure that it's on there. And I have very few bubbles. So again, I'm just gonna dip my squeegee into the ink. I can already see some air bubbles. doesn't want to stick very well. It could be the puffy material. So I'm going to try to go over areas as few times as possible because this transfer is lifting a little bit. Sorry if you can't see, I'm trying to hold it down. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna take any more chances. Okay, again, making sure I don't have any ink on my fingers. good. We'll get my blow dryer out.
and it would be better if you're doing these at projects at home to just let them dry naturally because I can see with my hair dryer just the little bit of air is making some of the ink spread a little bit it's not bad but I think if they were allowed to dry naturally they'd be it'd be better So I'll do another towel. going to again use the ink mat to um, flatten out my material and to keep it steady. And then I'm going to put my towel up here. And then we'll do just eat it. Making sure that it's down as securely as it should be. Again, just taking my squeegee into the ink. And I'm just going to run it over the mesh areas. Quite as much pressure as I would use if I was using the paste. This does glide on really smooth and then I also don't want to apply a lot of pressure because I don't want it to squeeze out the sides of the silk screen areas. Again, making sure my hands are clean. My nose is itching. I'm just going to peel that off. Hi, Ashley. How are you doing? I'm using the Sassy Kitchen Signs to make some ink towels. And then I'm using uh, last year's live life with zest to make some lemon pot holders so we have pucker up and we have live life with zest and so this one was just eat it so i'm going to blow dry it
Ashley says she's doing good. You did a little yard work tonight. I'm doing good. I need to do some yard work. I want to have pretty flowers and bushes, but I don't want to do the weeding. those lemons I think last summer at Dollar General. I just never did anything with them. That's the story of my life. So I'm trying to bust my stash. It's time to get some of the stuff out of here and made. I know I'm not going to get these perfectly dry with the hair dryer, but I just want to get them so that I can move them without getting stuff everywhere. Ooh, I'm running out of space. Keep this over there. Um, I think we'll do another, our last lemon um, pot holder. Let's put that down there so it's out of the way. Too many things going. Okay, so we'll use the last, the one that says take the wedge off. And again, my apologies, this is last year's transfer, but this was the whole reason that I bought the lemon pot holders. Um, I think, I don't know if maybe it moved last time because I didn't have it on the mat. So we'll put it back on the mat. Then I'm just going to take my transfer. And again, I'm not fuzzing this evening because I'm using my transfers on fabric. And I want to get the best adhesion that I can. Okay, we're going to have to go kind of gingerly again because I can see it lifting in a few spots. I don't think it likes this puffy pot holder fabric. So we'll just go really gently. And I'm going to try to only go over a silk screen once if I can. this back in my jar, clean up my fingers. Cute. So let's take the wedge off. So which one is your favorite so far? We have Baker's Gonna Bake, Life is Short with the Bowl, Just Eat It, Live Life with Best, Pucker Up, and Take the Wedge Off. Which one of those is your favorite so far? to the side. 
We have one more towel left. Oh, no, we have two. These won't take long, though. So again, I'm just using my ink mat to um, give myself a good base to kind of smooth out my fabric. Keeps it from, yeah, lick the bowl, life is short. That's probably my favorite one. I'm just making the ink mat also helps to make sure I don't um, get ink onto the back of my towel and then transfer it onto my um, craft surface. So we have, I think we'll do, should we do what the fork or it's getting hot in here? Which one do you think we should do on this towel? I guess we could do both. I was also going to, I could do bless this home. It's getting hot in here or what the fork and I have two towels left. So which ones do you think I should use? It's getting hot in here. What the fork and bless your home. Which of those two would you use? So I'll let you guys vote. Since I have two towels left. Insert Jeopardy music here. I think we'll do, I'll pick one of them for this bless your home in case there's somebody who doesn't really out there that doesn't really like all the snarky, sassy sayings. And then we can choose between what the fork and it's gotten hot in here. Hey, Edith, how are you doing? haven't seen you in these parts for a while. So we'll, we'll do bless your home and then you guys can choose what the fork or it's getting hot in here. It's been, I kind of have given up on using the checks of the fabric and I'm just using my cutting mat as kind of my to get my center. So again I'm doing good. Um, so I'm just putting down my transfer, making sure that it's adhered as tight as possible and I don't have any air bubbles in there. And I've got my towel here to protect the rest of my decorative towel. And I'm just gonna dip my ink into, or my squeegee into my ink. And I'm just gonna put it on the silk screen like I'm buttering toast or frosting a cake or making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And when I'm inking, I try to only go one direction. So sometimes when I chalk, I'll go back and forth and up and down and side to side. But when I ink, I try to only go one direction and that's usually up and down. Uh, just to kind of keep the the silk screen from stretching because then that's when you get bleeds and again make sure your fingers are clean because if you touch any part of your towel with fingers that may have ink on them it's really hard to get it off so then you're just going to peel up your transfer slowly and you're left with your design So then I'm going to blow dry it. Okay, so we have one vote for what the fork. You still get to vote between what the fork or it's getting hot in here for the last towel. And again, I'm not going to get these completely. 
completely dry with this blow dryer. This is just so I can move them around in my little craft space and not get ink all over everything. I'll most likely let these air dry overnight and then I'll heat set them tomorrow with my iron and then they can be washed like any other fabric. So then there's Bless Your Home. Pull it up so you can, this one's kind of hard to see. So there's Bless Your Home. So I'm just going to pull it off of my ink mat. And then I think we'll go with Edie's Boat. I bought the fork. Move that over there. My other towel laid down. This will be our last one. Just going to roll this excess back towards itself. So again, I'm just going to smooth out my fabric. That's the great thing about the ink mat is it kind of helps smooth your fabric out and keeps it from shifting. So then the last one will be the what the fork. And my apologies if that offends anybody. No offense. Or uh, not trying to offend anybody. So I'm just going to add, put this down on my fabric and smooth it out really well. And then I'm going to grab my ink and my squeegee one last time. And then I'm just going to add it to my uh, silk screen area, making sure I get all of it covered. And I can put the excess back in the jar. I'm put my lid on. Get all the ink off my fingers so I don't get it all over my towel. And then I'm just going to pull the transfer off. And there's the last towel. I'm going to dry that. <laughs> so you can use uh, this ink on most fabrics. It is permanent once it's heat set. Um, several designers have used it on glass and you can heat set glass in the oven. I've also seen designers use it on the stainless steel tumblers. Um, although I'm a little leery of that because heat can damage the vacuum seal, but they've done it. Uh, it's a great way to make custom t-shirts, custom tea towels. Uh, it's great for pillow covers, uh, decorative pillow covers. Uh, the size B 18 by 18. No, the size B 18 by 18 transfers are great for those 18 by 18 pillow covers. Um, okay, so I'll just pull that off of my ink mat. Let's see, I'll show it to you real quick. There's the what the fork.
So I'll fold that one up. I am going to, even though the first towel that we did isn't totally dry, um, I can show you how to heat set it. Um, and then I'll just reheat set it, if that makes any sense. Um, when it's totally dry. So I'm going to get my, uh, of course I buried it over here. I just have a silicone heat press mat. And then I have this first towel. And it's actually fairly dry. So what you want to do when you heat set it, if you, um, if you have a home iron, Um, if you have a home iron, you want to set your iron to the, the um, to the fabric setting um, that you're using, um, and then you just want to keep your iron moving um, while you're heat setting it. Um, I'd say anywhere from a couple minutes to four minutes. Um, if you have an easy press or a heat press, again, you set it to the fabric settings that you're using, and then it would be 30 seconds on each side. And you do want to cover your area with parchment paper. And for these little projects like this, like these little towels, I have this little steam iron that I got. Um, I don't put any water in it because you don't want steam when you're heat setting things, but it's great for these little projects. So I'm just going to um, kind of keep it moving. And I'm just going to keep moving it over the area with the um, for about a minute. And then you'll want to do that on both sides. And you can tell when it's heat set because it's no longer tacky. If you ink it and then like blow dry it with a blow dryer, there's still a little bit of tack usually to your ink until you heat set it and then it becomes a lot less sticky. I'm just going to do a little bit more time. But again, I, it, ideally it would be good to let it air dry overnight or at least a couple of hours. I usually just let my stuff air dry overnight because I do all my projects in the evening and then I'll heat set it the next evening. Oh yeah, so you can hardly tell that, I mean, it's it's heat set into the fabric because I can't even feel where there's ink. And that's when you know that it's usually heat set. So what I'm gonna do is flip it over and I'm just gonna do it on the back side as well. I don't, won't do the back for as long. Here's our baker's going to bake. And then we had life is short, lick the bowl. And we had two pot holder, or these two pot holders pucker up and live life with zest. And there's a few more things floating around here. So then we have Just Eat It, Take the Wedge Off, and then we have, um, we have What the Fork, and then for you, 
for us non-sassy people, we have bless your home or bless this home. So there you go. Those were our projects for this evening. Um, does anyone have any questions? Um, I do have all of my links for YouTube, Instagram, uh, Club Couture, um, my chalk site website where you can shop the products. That's all listed in a link tree link in the description of the video. And I also have um, the cart link for all of the supplies I used except for the black ink because it is not in stock right now. But you could, you could probably use red would look really pretty on these gray towels. Um, so you don't just have to stick with black. Um, it's just what what I thought would, would look good on the towels for what I was doing. But you can add or delete anything from that cart link. Um, so if you wanted to pick up some different transfers to use, you could do that as well. Um, so with that, I'm going to end for the evening. I want to thank you again for watching either the live or the replay. And I hope you have a great evening. And I will see you probably on Friday night. So have a great rest of the week and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.